Greetings, server. This may concern Christian Aguilar here back with another trailer reaction. And in today's trailer reaction, I'm going to be reacting to the, the recently dropped Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. This trailer can make or break this film for me. I know trailers don't always reflect the end product. However, first looks are important. First impressions are important. So if this movie does not look like it's being done right, it's so I'm, I'm very curious. I'm very curious. A lifelong uh, Resident Evil fan, I always wanted a proper film based off the video game series, based off the story from the video game series, and I just just to know just to know that Resident Evil One and Two, the stories of those two games, are being meshed into one film. Already not hyped. Already there's like there's trouble. Um, the cast, despite what everyone else is saying about the cast, like they don't like the cast, whatever. I think the cast is pretty decent, you know, it's pretty alright. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. I'm being optimistic about the cast. But the story, the narrative, I feel like is gonna be trash. But anyway, let's let's watch the trailer and see if I'm wrong. Pressing play now. Come on. Oh, I hate that. The fucking clips before the trailer. Every story has a beginning. Cool. Oh, is that hunk? Discover the origin of evil. Uh, Why are you back here? Something Claire? off about this Your film. Your conspiracies Alrighty. were true when we were kids. They're not true now. We need to expose Umbrella. Really? They're showing uh, Claire and Chris's household. Watch this. I'm afraid, Claire. I'm afraid of what they're going to do in this town. You see, Umbrella. They have an incident. I'm talking Chernobyl, if you know what I mean. People are getting sick. It's like, um, let the world know what's really going on. 28 days later. Who the hell is that talking to her? Is that William Burkham? Don't tell me that's Burkham. Years, I'm a we have to contain this. To get up that big hill of hope. Shall we go? So. Into a crisis. What were Umbrella doing here? This is where they're experimenting on him. Making it seem like Chris and Split up. Claire are the main characters. But I, it seems like they're investigating the mansion and the city at the same time. You see this right here? That should have just been the man. This should have been the first movie, the mansion. What the? I seen better zombie makeup. We gotta get out of here. Leon looks cool. Ooh, CGI dog. We're gonna take Umbrella down. Oh, that looked terrible. Was that the William Burke monster at the end? The liquor's brain was just too. And the liquor's looked. The liquor looked too small. I don't know. I don't know. Everything looked a little cheap. I don't know. Claire, the actress that plays Claire, Effie from Skins, she she, she looks amazing. Although I wish they gave her her ponytail. It's not a big deal. Uh, I think she looks amazing. It's just, I'm thrown off. I'm thrown off because the only time Claire ever became a main character was after the events of Resident Evil 2, uh, specifically in Code Veronica. I don't like the story. The story looks like it's just it looks like they're just jam-packing what they want in the narrative and not properly following the build-up to the outbreak in raccoon city i really wish they would have just went the mansion route i really wish they would just made a solid movie about a group of police officers trying to survive in this weird mysterious mansion located in the outskirts of the city in the middle of a forest like a forest mountain rain because the other Bravo team went missing. So these, this is the Alpha team searching for the Bravo team. And that's the main, from point A to point B, that's the objective, rescue Bravo team. But while they're trying to do that, they get separated themselves. They come across horrific nightmares throughout the mansion. This movie should have just been set in the mansion. They're trying to combine too much of the narrative together to try to make one solid movie. It doesn't feel that solid so far. I... 
yeah, I just wish they took their time and focused on Chris and Jill as the main characters, or even just the Alpha team as the main characters with Barry and Wesker and, and Rebecca and I don't know, man. This uh... So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for reaching the end of it. Did you see the trailer? What did you think of it? Let me know down below. Are you a fan of Resident Evil? Are you not? Let me know down below. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe to support this little side hobby I am doing. Friendly reminder, the rendered image every Thursdays and Sunday nights live 8.30 p.m. on YouTube. The link to which would be down below in the description. A show I co-host my friends Tyler and Shannon. We go over all the recent movie news, updates, and trailers. And we will definitely be talking about this Resident Evil trailer. And I will like to hear their opinions as well. I hope you're all safe and well out there and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.